The following podcast is intended for mature audiences. Listener discretion is advised. for downloading, streaming, or however it is that you are listening to the Not Listening Podcast. I'm Adam. I'm Ash. I'm Will. Who are Will? Open up cans of beer and a mic. Welcome along, everybody. Now, um, we love movies on this podcast. I love movies. Um, you, you, you two are a bit... Take all even. Yeah. I like movies. But we always talk about certain movies. Why can't movie- we call them films? Why, why do we have to call them movies? Well, you can call them films if you want. I only called them movies then, actually, because he did. Yeah, I, I blame Barker. Film. Yeah. yeah, they're films. Stop being fucking American. Right, okay. That was a really bad American accent. That was was that what that was? American. No, it wasn't. I thought that was like a, an Irishman had been hit over the head with a frying pan repeatedly. Hmm. Quite a lot of them. If you would like to tweet along to the show, you can at Barker Podcast or at Not Listening Pod, or you can just go to the website www.notlistening.co.uk to check all the stuff out there. Comedy the, the, stuff. Your finger action there when you're going www. Because yeah, everyone can see it on the podcast. What else? Let's get on. Let's, let's, have, let's have a little chat about movies or films. Sorry, films. Bye. Hashtag not listening. Here's a question, guys. Here's an answer. Seven. <laughs> no, I haven't asked you a question yet. Well, I just thought I'd um, preempt. Well, you're wrong. Hmm. Can you name the movie starring Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman? <laughs> 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 no. um, what What would you consider? What do you think a, constitute as a classic movie or a classic film? The only way you can describe it is the one that a lot of people say is a classic. Yes, yeah, when like a whole group of people can go, go "Oh, it's a classic." Or all the critics get together, or a certain newspaper columnist goes, "That is a classic." Thus, you must believe it is a classic. Thus, you must have seen it, or you're a failure as a human being. So I yeah. always thought, I always thought that it was something like it was going to be sort of like classic, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> you fucking disappoint me. <laughs> All right, so, yeah. I disappoint you. <laughs> no, I was talking to you. Right, That's what you're thinking about. I was going to say, what have I done wrong? <laughs> <laughs> I'm perfect. <laughs> yeah, I always thought classics had to be from the 60s. Well, no, yeah. Uh, I can see what you're saying, but when I hear people say, oh, that's a classic, I always think like, oh, it's a film that everybody must see and everybody must like then. Because the way they they sell it to you is like, oh, it's a classic. Yeah, but the thing is, you, these days you hear the line, it's so bad, it's amazing. Yeah, that's true. You must see this, it's a classic. It's Sharknado. so awful that it's great. Yeah, like Sharknado. Think, no, that doesn't make it a classic. I'll stick with the so awful bit. And you know what? On that recommendation, I'm not it, fucking watching it. It's so awful, I'm not watching it. Yeah. yeah. There you go. So classic movies, right? Um, I, I thought about this the other day. I was, I was at work and I was like, there's so many... Classic, here's go the air quotes, podcast air quotes. There's so many classic movies out there, which I haven't actually seen. I always feel like I should have seen them, because everybody goes on about how great they are. There are, there are so many films where I can quote the quotes and yeah. describe the key scenes, and I've never seen the fucking film. Yeah. Taxi Driver, perfect yeah. example. You're talking to me? never seen it. I know Robert De Niro's in front of the mirror, and we've all seen that clip. I thought yeah. Mario we was in front of the mirror. We all know that line. <laughs> no, that was Christopher Walken. <laughs> You're talking to me? <laughs> you know what I mean? Me? Everyone knows that scene. Even the people who haven't seen Taxi Driver know that's Robert De Niro in front of the mirror, pretending he's got a gun or whatever it is, yeah. and it's a classic scene from a classic film that I haven't seen. I couldn't fucking judge if it's a classic or not. The one that really got me thinking was that I was talking to someone about Stanley Kubrick movies. I was like, Clockwork oh. Orange. I was like, that's a classic yeah. movie, and I love it. I I've seen that film. I've read the but book. It was 2001 A Space Odyssey. I've mm. never actually seen it, but I know. All the key scenes in it. I know, like, the one with the monkeys and the bone and the I'm music. I'm sorry, Dave. I can't do that. And how? Yeah. Yeah, how yeah I haven't seen it either. But I've places. never seen it. Yeah. But I know, I know for a fact that 2001 is a sort of movie that... Open I the s- pod babe doors, Hal. 
I'm sorry, Dave. I can't, I can't do, do that. Yeah. We know the lines. Yeah. yeah. If I watched it, I'd fucking love it. No, I'd be really bored. No, apparently. I think I'd love it's it. It's really you'd slow. Be, it is very slow. It's it's the old. It, it's the way that lots of the old films were. You go and watch one of these old films. And there aren't explosions every three or four nothing seconds. That, yeah, it's a lot of dialogue. It's a lot of slow-moving people just sort of wandering around. The, the story progresses incredibly slowly. And not a single ca- cameo from Snoop Dogg, you know. I mean, what yeah, can you do? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can, it's, it's appalling. It's why Snoop Dogg? Please explain why Snoop Dogg. There was the first one that popped into my head. <laughs> okay, I thought it was actually saying for a lot of was it originally in 2000? You, you, you're looking for too much depth here, dude. The boy Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Apparently he can go in quite deep. Right, okay. He did some adult films, though, I believe. I've never watched them. I don't want to know. No. I don't want to know. Doggy style. But no, but 2001 Space Odyssey is the sort of film that I keep seeing it, the imagery and what it's all about, and I think oh, I'm going to love that. And I think I would, because I remember I went for a right pretentious stage when I left uh, college film studies where I'd go down the pub and on mm. a Friday night, you know, you get your post-pub films and watch all these stupid, stupid films. Mm. No, no. I wanted to watch thought-provoking, arty indie, one. Oh, arty in movies. Case, have you seen um, Westworld? Yes, I have, with yeah, your brain. Oh, in that case, seeing as this uh, one is about films that we you haven't, haven't seen, seen. should have done. We'll move on. We'll move on. <laughs> Logan's Run. No, I yeah. haven't. Oh, Logan's no, Run. Oh, oh, that's a classic. You <laughs> <can see> that. <laughs> that's what I mean. That's how, that's how the, that, that literally how the conversation goes. Yeah, everybody, it's a classic. Everybody has been. Dark actually, Star. it's quite slow. Yeah, everybody yeah, has doesn't been. doesn't run very fast at all. No. Isn't that the one with the big balloon that's chasing him? No, no. that's The Prisoner, which was a TV series. Haven't seen that either. Yeah. It's a classic. A big bouncy balls. It's a classic. Uh, oh, it's an absolute classic, mate. You should watch that. Uh Godfather. Have you seen The Godfather? I've seen part yes. three and I found it incredibly slow and boring and I was never inspired to go back and watch the the uh, early what? ones. I've seen I've seen lots of sequels to classic films Why? and not seen the original. Because you see the sequel because it came on telly when I was younger and I'd never seen the others but I'd heard, I was like, oh, Godfather part three and I sat down and I watched it for about an hour and a half and it was nowhere near finishing. It's I about started, a three hour film, isn't it? This is so fucking boring why would I want to bother going back and watching any more of this shit well that was before what What? actually the, God, the Godfather stuff they are good film if you if you look at it from now that what has now turned out to be the way that they do TV series 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 <laughs> when you do you do a, a, a TV series and Scissors. it's and it's ten ten episodes or whatever that's ten hours yeah if you look at the Godfather for part one, two, and three, you're about looking at about ten to twelve hours. Yeah, but pure so length if they're doesn't broken make it down good content. Into the hours, as my missus insists, <laughs> then it would have worked. <laughs> yeah, they made it a TV show. Well, they did. They made the Sopranos. It was pretty much like The Godfather. Never watched it. Apparently, watched it's, a apparently it's a bit of a classic. It's a classic I've never TV seen show. It <laughs> no, listen, I've never seen Rocky. I've, I've seen You've the never one seen Rocky. where he fights Apollo Creed. One or two. Uh, two. Then what I've seen the both? one with Dolph Lundgren when Apollo Creed died, but I've never seen the original. But no. I don't care. It's a film about boxing. Why would I give a fuck? Why, why, why you did the Rocky movie, Jim? Because um, right. frankly, I, I like don't, Sylvester Stallone. Don't you know the Rocky is a classic? Everyone, you know, if, if you're asked the question, what is Sylvester Stallone best known for? There's probably two answers. Really. Rambo is Rocky. Yeah, I have not seen the original Rambo. I've seen the second one, or the th- no, I've seen Rambo three. And I've seen a couple of the later Rockies. I've never seen the original Rambo, and I've never seen the original Rocky. And I feel no need. Now, so far as I'm concerned, the finest film Sliced Alone was ever in was Demolition Man. The Twins. <laughs> That's a classic. Twins? <laughs> twins. He had a cameo in Twins. He was a uh, cardboard cutout in the, uh, in the video show. Uh, no, it, no, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. Arnie, Arnie you are out. wrong. No, you're right. Was that, com- no, that last was action hero. Last action hero yeah. when he's a cardboard cutout oh, as oh, the Terminator Two. Yeah, and he just he just fle- oh, and he flexes his arms and then just goes there. Yeah. Last action hero. Yeah, was that last action hero. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, well <laughs> tried, Ash. Yeah, well done. Thanks uh, for I, the movie I, I, trivia. I, to be honest, if you'd done that, I'd have probably followed the bluff and put up with it. But uh, you can't do that to Barker. No. no. I'll call you out, my Tid. You can sit there, you can teach me about space, he can teach me about animals, but what the fuck? Then again, Adam, you've never movies. seen Blazing Saddles. I've never seen it. It's a classic. That's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting, we're starting to become a cat trailer. <laughs> no, but I've seen clips of it, Yeah, and I know a lot. Candyman from Mungo. Candy Graham from Mungo. Yeah, Candy like, Graham from Mungo. Yeah, stuff like that. The shit Mungo loved here. candy. Yeah, I've seen the farting scene with all the, the, beans, all the beans and that. Yep. I mean, I've seen clips and everything. Yeah. 
but I've never actually watched it. Yeah, it's disgraceful. You've seen like, Spaceballs, though, haven't you? Of course I've seen Spaceballs. Yeah. Everyone's seen fucking Spaceballs. Mm, I reckon there are certain people listening that haven't. And what I should tell them is, it's a classic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're all about five. I think the problem is the term classic gets used too much. That yeah. then I think people use the term classic when they've seen an older film and they know some. Because if we don't see an old film, an older film. you say, oh, that was quite good. I'll just tell people it was a classic because yeah. I appear far more educated. It makes you yeah. sound better. Because yeah. if like, we all like, noticed when we all said, oh, have you seen this film? We all went, yeah. No one went, it's a classic. We just went, oh, okay. Yeah. Have you seen this one? No. Oh, you have it. It's a classic. Yeah. Because you do feel like you are more inf- like superior to them. You're like, Absolutely. well, you know, yeah. I've actually seen a movie which is considered yeah. a great movie. One we, that's along one the same lines as, as when like, people say they're cult, they're cult films. Yes. Like, you look on Netflix and it's got cult films. Mm. And you're flicking through some of them and it's just sort of, why on earth is this classified as a cult Do you know what, what, why films are classified as cult movies? Because, because they're independent? No. No, it's because basically they're not actually that popular, but they've got a bit of a following. They never did well, yeah. but a load of people obsess about them. Um, thus, cult. Yeah. Uh, As a okay. following of certain people. So, really, nine times out of ten, if something's called a cult film, it's not really a compliment because it means that it's not very good. It's mm. not very popular, but there's some nutters that actually Just really, really have got into like it. Like the, the film The Room mm. is considered one of the worst movies ever made because it's made up by a guy called Tommy Wiseau. Is this one of those ones that's oh it's it's awful but it's so awful it's no actually it's just shit no it is so bad it, it's enjoyable to watch simply because it's so bad it's almost like you're laughing at the film no no you see I, but, I I could never take pleasure from watching a film and go this is so bad that I'm enjoying it no I'm enjoying how bad it is it's like this is so bad I'm gonna turn it off but um it's like Troll Two you've seen Troll Two haven't you. No, is yeah. it a classic? No, it's one of the, one of the worst it's horror movies ever made. No, I've, I've not watched a troll film. And they made a documentary about it called Best Worst Film Ever. And that is a cult movie because it has like midnight screen screenings mm. all around the country. And you're like, people. Because it's like, classified as the best worst movie. Yeah, pretty much it. So a cult movie like that. I mean, but then they always say like Reservoir Dogs is a cult movie because it has a following of certain people. No, I, I would disagree. I would say it's. Not a classic either, personally. If Tarantino's managed a classic, it's Pulp Fiction, which is a genuine classic, in my opinion. Pulp Fiction is um, it's a trailblazer for the 90s yeah, yeah. movies. Absolutely. It was it was something new and refreshing, whereas yeah. Reservoir Dogs was just gritty. not so much. Yeah, it was just nasty. Pulp Fiction had genuine humour and a great mix-up and... The way that it, you know, was, it was filmed and all yeah. of that kind of stuff, yeah, it was it was it was different for its time. All right, it, what, it what's been great. out? Here, here's here's an interesting uh, tangent on this. What's been filmed in the last three years that you think in ten years' time, twenty years' time, people could be saying, "Oh, that's a classic." In the last three years, yeah, for example, because um, because things can only become a classic when they're a bit older. But yeah. there are some films. Yeah, sorry, to, to, to quote an awful term, instant classic. Have we got any of them recently? Would you say? Well, you can say some of the superhero movies are classics. You could say um, The Avengers is pretty much a classic. Guardians? Well, it could do, really, because mm. it's a proper space movie, isn't it? Since it's, the, it's the most fun, the funnest space movie since Star Wars. In funnest? The funnest? The funnest, yeah. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> is it more funner than um, Battlestar Galactica? You're such a dick. <laughs> <laughs> the look of disgust on your face when I said fun. Is, <laughs> is it funner than the last... Oh, what was it called? Last what, what Starfire. Was, no, what was the one? They had this arcade machine, and the lad played it, and he was really good, at it, and it turned out it was just like a test. So that was his last fight. Starfight. Last Starfight. Yeah, Starfight. Yeah, Sorry, all right, yeah. apologies. Yeah, yeah. Um, was that a classic? Or was that no, just War a... Games, that's a classic. War Games, that's a classic. That's <laughs> yeah. a classic. Not seen that. <laughs> no, it's definitely a classic. Yep. Check it out. Oh, right, must Get be. the massive DARPA machine and play tic-tac-toe. Well, looking at the... Uh, when I looked at the top 10 on uh, IMDb, yeah. top 250 or whatever, uh, Shawshank's number one. Shawshank, well, we've all seen it. Everyone's, Everyone's seen, seen it. I don't believe there's a single person over the age of 20 who that hasn't, hasn't seen it. Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. And they have to because it's a classic. But the, the newest <laughs> film on that top 10 list, the one that's been out, the, like, the last film in it, was actually The Dark Knight, 2008. I don't think that's a classic. It though, is a it? fucking classic. It's nearly a perfect movie. It was okay. Fuck off. It was good. How dare you? I thought it was all right. We're going to well, yeah, well, on a bit. See, this is no. why I still don't get classic. Well, I'm ending this episode now. <laughs> Dark Knight. Really? It's brilliant. No, I prefer the original Batman. That was a classic. It's pretty classic, yeah. Yeah. 
If you're on the Twitter, why don't you follow me at Barker Podcast or at Not Listening Pod? You can keep up to date with everything in a Not Listening World. There you go. Ash, you're not on Twitter. Will, you're not on Twitter. No. Is it is it Twitter or, or Twitter? Twitter is Twitter. 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 Twitter.